Whether you work in industry, government, private research and development, or the military, Advanced Studies can take your career in engineering to greater heights. We're delighted you've chosen to learn more about how Johns Hopkins Engineering can help you accomplish your goals. The Engineering for Professionals online part-time program at Johns Hopkins Engineering offers thoughtfully designed courses that enhance your knowledge and build the essential skills to help you excel in your career. Our top-ranked programs are academically rigorous, and you will engage in meaningful learning interactions with instructors and classmates. The Johns Hopkins University's Electrical and Computer Engineering program will equip you with the methods and tools you need to develop systems for communication, computation, information transformation, power generation and transmission, measurement, and control. A key benefit of the program is that you'll learn from faculty who are top-level engineers, currently developing technical solutions to address the current and emerging issues in industry and government. The Electrical and Computer Engineering program offers three paths to earn a Master of Science in Electrical and Computer Engineering, Graduate Certificate, or Postmaster's Certificate. You can take courses online, on-site, or a hybrid of online and on-site. On-site courses are held at the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory in Laurel, Maryland. The Master of Science in Electrical and Computer Engineering requires the successful completion of 10 courses to earn the degree. You will have up to five years to complete the coursework. The program requires seven electrical and computer engineering courses and three approved technical elective courses. Students can take all 10 courses from the ECE program. There is also a requirement to take at least four 700 level courses. This structure gives you the flexibility to design your learning experience. The graduate certificate requires the successful completion of four courses in up to three years. The graduate certificate requires three to four electrical and computer engineering courses and at most one approved elective course. The postmaster's certificate requires four to five electrical and computer engineering courses and no more than one approved elective. We offer more than 40 online courses, many with virtual labs. There are two methods for which we can incorporate laboratories into our online courses. The first method is we mail students a laboratory kit, which are typically used in our computer engineering courses. Prior to the start of the semester, you are mailed a kit and work with that development board throughout the semester doing hands-on lab projects. The second method is a technology we have developed to enable you to virtually access larger instrumentation located at the Applied Physics Laboratory. You will be able to interface to the equipment, change instrument settings, collect data, look at different test points, and measure with a real instrument. This collaboration with one of the most well-respected organizations in the industry gives our students an unparalleled, applicable learning experience. The focus areas offered in the ECE program represent technology groupings that are relevant for students with interests in the selected areas. You are not required to choose a focus area to follow. They only serve as an aid in planning course schedules. General admissions and program requirements must be met to be admitted into the Electrical and Computer Engineering program. There are four general requirements. You must hold a degree in electrical and or computer engineering issued by a program accredited by the Engineering Accreditation, EAC, of ABET. Those who majored in a related science or engineering field may also be accepted as candidates, provided their background is judged by the admissions committee to be equivalent to the noted requirements. Have a grade point average of at least a 3.0 in the latter half of your undergraduate studies. Submit transcripts from all college studies. Unofficial transcripts are accepted to apply. However, official transcripts must be submitted before you can enroll in any course. GRE scores are not required. The electrical and computer engineering programs require your prior education include the listed prerequisites. If prior education does not include the prerequisites, you may be admitted under provisional status followed by full admission once you've completed the required prerequisites. Prerequisites may be taken at Johns Hopkins University or any other accredited college or university. We take a holistic approach when reviewing applications, considering both academic background and work experience. Our goal is to fully prepare you to flourish as an electrical and computer engineering professional. Upon completing the degree program, you will have mastered the ability to identify, formulate, and solve complex problems in your field. Johns Hopkins University was the nation's first research university, founded for the express purpose of putting discovery and knowledge to work for the good of humanity. Today, we are a top-tier university and remain committed to academic excellence and pioneering research.
As a student, you'll have complete access to a host of digital and technical resources, academic and career advising, and support services from across the university. Every student gets the full value and recognition of a Johns Hopkins engineering education. Online students in the Engineering for Professionals program receive the same Johns Hopkins University credentials and diploma as those who study on campus and have the opportunity to walk across the stage on graduation day. Our bowling admissions process allows you to apply to any of our online part-time programs at any time throughout the year. We offer three convenient starts, fall, spring, and summer, and there is no application fee. For more information and to apply, go to ep.jhu.edu forward slash apply. We look forward to supporting your education and career goals and seeing you in our virtual classrooms.